ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden and this is Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, why was WhatsApp down for many across the world? But first, scientists at London's Natural History Museum, UCL and the Francis Crick Institute have extracted DNA from Stone Age hunter-gatherer Britons and made a gruesome discovery. We've sequenced the oldest human DNA from uh, the British Isles thus far. An individual from Goff's Cave in Somerset, who died around 15,000 years ago, and an individual from Kendrick's Cave in Wales, who died around 13,500 years ago. That's Dr Selina Brace, the museum's principal researcher in ancient DNA. All of them show signs of human modification, they actually show signs of cannibalism. There's tooth marks and cut marks on the human remains of the individuals from that site. And there's more on the gruesome discovery. Even more fascinating, they have these what we call human skull cups. So they have very carefully taken the, the, the crown of the skull and napped the edges of it. And then they use this as a drinking vessel. It's likely to be what we call ritualistic cannibalism because of the care that's taken over these remains. It's hoped the discovery of the oldest human bones found so far in the British Isles will help give more clues to scientists on the evolution of populations. Next. It was respite from the endless dings on Tuesday after WhatsApp went down for a while. Users reported seeing a connecting message for a couple of hours. According to Down Detector, the problem started just after 8am and hit users across the UK, Australia, South Africa and Asia with some 60,000 issues logged with the outage site. When the app last went down, Facebook said the global problem was caused by a configuration change, but this time WhatsApp's not revealed what caused the outage, but say the issue was fixed. Now... Three days after releasing her new album Midnights, Taylor Swift's had an astonishing 284 million audio and video streams. Swift's also enjoyed the most sales of any album for five years and set a modern record for copies of vinyl bought. Her Reputation album was the last title to sell more than a million copies in a single week in the States. Scientists in Japan are developing a human washing machine. They say cleans your body while playing a relaxing video chosen for you by artificial intelligence. The ultrasonic bath will blast users with high-speed water containing extremely fine air bubbles, which they say removes dirt from the pores. So how does it work? Well, they say the user sits in the bath chair and is blasted with the water and micro bubbles to get rid of the grime from their skin. A sensor is also attached to the chair that is connected to an electrocardiograph measuring their heart rate. An ex-government advisor claims the Covid strain that forced Britain into lockdowns to save the NHS being overwhelmed and thousands from dying does not exist anymore. Oxford University's Sir John Bell, who was number 10's coronavirus testing czar and an early member of the vaccine task force, says the virus has radically changed since 2020. Sir John says that although the virus was still present and would make people ill, widespread immunity in the community had blunted coronavirus's ability to wreak havoc on society. Analysts at the Office for National Statistics estimated 1.7 million people in Britain, or 1 in 30, were infected on any day in the week to October the 10th. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, the Harrier jump jet of flying cars, and one game was mission to scan every single PS2 manual. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. The startup has revealed what it hopes will be the world's first vertical takeoff flying car. The firm called Aleph reckons its Model A vehicle will have an airborne range of 68 miles. It joins a crowded marketplace with the likes of Aircar and the PAL P gyrocopter rushing to give the full Back to the Future 2 experience. The car's inventors say that after using so much power to take off, for the rest of the flight it becomes a biplane. Royal Mail is urging people to use stamps without a barcode by the end of January 2023, when they'll no longer be valid. The change affects ordinary stamps, featuring Queen Elizabeth II, which must be used before the deadline exactly 100 days from Monday. 
Barcoded stamps will continue to feature an image of the late Queen. Royal Mail says the barcoded stamps were introduced as part of a move to modernise the service and to allow enhanced security features. Royal Mail says barcoded stamps were introduced as part of a move to modernise the service and to allow enhanced security features. And finally, a video games fan is trying to scan every single PlayStation 2 manual in high resolution and upload it to the web's archive. So far, the preservationist, who uses the moniker of Kirkland, has scanned nearly 2,000 titles from Metal Gear Solid 2 to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Kirkland told gaming site Kotaku that the whole process was a labour of love to preserve gaming history, and it comes after previously spending seven months scanning Nintendo SNES manuals. He reckons buying all those old releases cost about $40,000. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the leader from the Evening Standard here in London. Tech and Science Daily is back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.